Hi guys, today we're gonna talk how to disassemble the DEF injector. This one, as you can see in here, this is for Volvo, okay? And we're gonna check it out if it is possible to clean it or not, okay? This one, it is not disassembled yet. And to remove the nozzle, you see there are two screws in here they need to be removed these are torx 20 or 25 okay and to remove the ports for the coolant there are three quarters okay so you need a wrench or a deep socket to remove it so many people like to clean them because sometimes if you remove it for let's say more than 24 hours the DEF get crystallized inside so I'm gonna remove this one from here and we're gonna take a closer look to the one it's already disassembled okay so this part goes into the bottom of the DPF assembly in the bottom part as you can see in here, this is the injector. It's a, it's a little bit off from the hole because I already removed it. You can see here is open. And the first thing you do is to remove these two screws in here. Let's take it off. Okay, there's one. There's two. This is the nozzle, okay? And let me see if I can focus this part in here. Um, you see that white thing around? That means it's crystallized inside, but I'm gonna remove this. So look, you just pull it out like this. You might need a flathead screwdriver to open this part from here. And there is a metal o-ring over there. You just pull it like this. And you see, it's out. Okay, so this o ring that you see, well, half o ring in this case, you have to put it back when you assemble it again. Otherwise, it might leak. It might leak uh, DEF from this side. Okay, the same goes for this o ring. You can take it off and clean it if you want. You see, sorry, and if once you clean it, okay, you, you should put some grease around, not too much, just a little bit, so it can slide properly in here again, you see? And as you can see, this is the part that opens and close. But this one, this is the electrical part. The funny thing is, when you replace this thing, okay, this is the part that gets messed up. Nothing from here is bad, you know? It's just this electrical part because since there is a crystallized DEF inside, you might have troubles trying to make the injection later on. So the bad thing is that, that you had to replace the whole assembly. But if you can get some hot water in here, you might be able to clean it. And I say might because since there is a lot of parts that you cannot clean it, maybe if you have like a water press pressurized, it might work, but I'm not sure about it. Usually we change the whole assembly because, you know, uh, it's better, but you can try to save a couple bucks if you want to clean it up. And you can see, I can remove this part in here. For example, if your coolant gets like oil intrusion or fuel intrusion on it, you can remove this from here, you see? There is a o-ring that seals in here. You see this o-ring seals completely the hole in here. Okay, now let's remove the other one. 
see and this part in here and i really mean it this part in here never is gonna break unless you have an accident or it's hit it by a rock okay guys so look this is when the nozzle sits okay and coolant flows through these holes in here all right so this is just a cooler there are couple trucks that like Freilanders, they don't have a cooler built in it Volvo use a cooler the same goes for um i think cummins used to but not sure about that anymore but for sure i know Volvo use them okay so the main part of interest for us in here is this the nozzle okay this is the electrical part that makes them that that they makes the mix and you know sprays the def when region is taking place so just pour some hot water in here and try to clean it up nicely and in my work as I told you guys, these are just temporary fix. This won't fix your problem, but it's good to know how this works, okay? So if you want to put it back this together, okay? Let's start the first for this part in here. Okay, you see? Even it has like a gap, so you can align it properly. It's not that hard. Mm -hmm. First one in here. Okay. Second one and make sure that it has the ordering, okay? Second one here. Alright. And the nozzle, make sure it has the o-ring in here. And the tricky, the trickiest part from this is to put this o-ring in here. Because it goes like this, you see? The o-ring goes like this. And then, I'm trying to install it in here. You see? And you see, this is what I'm talking about, it fall off. Okay? And once you install it, you had to put a little pressure on it all right but here is where the bolts comes handy because you just install it in here the two bolts okay and then you put pressure on it you do try to close the the bolts small bolts in here and it should close nicely but you should put a little bit of grease it will be easier and this part is really important. This one protects the injector to get directly contact with the part that gets really hot in the bottom of the DPF. So this is the way you disassemble these parts. As you can see, this one is already broken from here. You see? What I want to tell you is like our Volvos are the only one that I know right now that's still using this system. Uh, Freilander, Kenworth, and International, they're using the new system. There's just one injector, and there is no coolant flowing through it. And it has its pros and cons, and cons. But I will talk about that in another video. This is just what I got for you today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks.